Hello, it is Thursday, August 20th. I am in the car doing errands. Um, this is my baby shower prep vlog. Um, looking a little bit like a mess right now. <sighs> Stressful day already. It is 10 o'clock. I went to the produce outlet. I was extremely disappointed. So now I have to go to like the regular grocery store to get stuff to make a fruit and veggie platter. So I'm just like, oh, for one this morning or I don't know, just zero. I don't think that even makes sense. I went to one place and I struck out. Um, I have like six other places to go today. I have so much stuff to pick up. I need to like my hair is crazy I didn't even like do it um I have to finish party favors and start like that kind of stuff I did a lot earlier this week and last week but um I have to start with food today because you know like the party Saturday today's Thursday I can start cutting up like food tomorrow so I'm just gonna get everything today <sighs> so, yeah. that's that I took my nails off yesterday because I figured I'm like doing a balloon arch tomorrow and I just put new nails on Saturday and all that and it's just weird like not having nails. I don't feel too hot today which is just great. I have so much stuff to do and I literally feel like shit. Um, which... This has been, like, a reoccurring thing. The last, like, month, I've felt like straight dog crap. Um, I have no idea why. Nothing has changed. I just, I literally never feel good. I feel like the beginning of my pregnancy when I was always nauseous. And it's just, like, not going away ever. My indigestion is terrible. I saw somebody I used to work with. Okay. I need to get on with my day because I have so much stuff to do and I just want to go home. It has been a eventful morning. It's 1230. I just got to the grocery store. I had a few other places to go today. Um, and I wanted to like get my groceries last so they weren't in my car all day in the heat. Um, my hair is crazy still. I just stopped. It's been a little of a day, a little bit of a day. Um, where do I start? I got produce and then where did I go? Oh, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I returned this diffuser that I got because it like doesn't plug in and I don't like the ones that don't plug in because I feel like they just like waste the oil because it doesn't really smell like anything. So... Um, I returned that and then I needed to go to Macy's to get a pillow <laughs> because my pillow is like shot and um, I just haven't been like sleeping that great. So I figured it's like time to get a new pillow. And I have, I had a Macy's gift card and then I had coupons for Macy's too. And I got like a Ralph Lauren pillow for $15, <laughs> which was cool. And of course I like shopped around for a little bit and I got a cute um, DKNY sweater and um, a wine bottle opener that I like literally didn't need. And, oh, and then I went to the post office cause I got a new phone and I needed to mail back my old phone. So I did that. Um, yeah, went to Macy's and then I think that was it. It's been like an hour since I went to Macy's. Oh, and then I was starving and I had to go pee. So I was like, oh, let me just go to Wawa. Because it was still like 1130. So I figured they would have like a sizzly or two out. And a sizzly just sounded bomb. It's like the only thing that I'll eat from Wawa. And I walked in to Wawa and they had one sizzly left. And it was the kind that I like, the turkey sausage and egg white and cheese on a bagel. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, 
this is perfect. I just have to like go pee and get my sizzly. And then I come out of the bathroom and it's gone. And I just like kind of lost it in the Wawa. I was so upset. Um, it's like being pregnant. I still am very picky with food and it's like, I didn't pack food from home. Like I brought a protein shake, but I, it's hard to pack food because I don't know what I'm going to be in the mood for in a few hours, especially when I'm doing errands all day and I wasn't really in the mood for breakfast this morning. So I just ate like a Quest bar and that made my stomach hurt. Um, so I'm just being like very picky with food and like if I don't 110% want something, it's going to make me extremely sick. So I just like I tried to find something that I liked at Wawa and I couldn't do it. And I was really upset. And also like pregnancy hormones, you know, it's just like when you're hungry and I knew if I didn't eat soon that I was going to like feel even worse than I did. So whatever, I was just like, I'm not going to like force myself to eat something that I don't like. So, um, somebody just pulled in next to me and they're like looking at me. Okay. Um, yeah. So then I left and I was like trying to think of places that I wanted to go. And of course it's lunchtime. So all of like the fast food places were crazy packed, like Chick-fil-A, the line is just like ridiculous and Chick-fil-A makes my stomach hurt really bad now because I feel like when we moved I ate it for three weeks straight multiple times a day and now I can't eat Chick-fil-A without my stomach hurting. I went to like a soup and salad place and I got um, I got a green monster smoothie and then I got like a little thing of Italian wedding soup I ate it and this is all the escarole because I don't like escarole. I never have and I never will. I don't like it in Italian wedding soup. I just like the meatballs and the pasta. Um, so yeah, I ate that and I am feeling 11 out of 10. Um, I feel like I could eat like a thousand more of them, but whatever. I just like sat in the parking lot at the grocery store and just like drank my smoothie and ate my soup in like complete silence like a weirdo um it was really good though and baby is super happy i'm pretty happy this is my last stop for now i just need to grab a few things and then i'm gonna head home i need to go pick up a piece of paper get the favors from my house to my parents house and then I need to head back out and do some more errands, which is exciting. So, okay, I need to shut up and go. Here we are. So these right here. I am gonna start doing gift bags um, or like party favors. I need to, like a giant pumpkin. Like, and I have like this rat tail in the back of my head that like is the hair that is growing it's crazy i look just look like a, a, a tent but i am gonna watch some tv while i do these favors i just have a little setup um on one of the tables that we're using for the food so i just have all my stuff set up and i'm just gonna record and i'm gonna do a time lapse of me doing all the favors i'm really excited I have an idea of how I want them to turn out. So I'm very, I don't know. I kind of just like made it up. I took a few different ideas that I saw on Pinterest and just kind of made my own thing. So hopefully it all comes together and it looks good, but I will definitely show you guys. And I'm just gonna hang out with B over here and make some party favors. Watching this footage back and editing it is seriously hysterical. I can't get over my face. I didn't know I looked that serious and mad. And I think I look like a five-year-old while I'm doing this. And I really just can't get over that I'm putting this on the internet. But for the party favors, I got... I think 50 cellophane bags from Party City. 
they were super inexpensive probably like six dollars for all 50 you definitely can get them on amazon i was just at party city so i got the bags and then i went to the liquor store and i got two cases of mini uh brute champagnes i think it was around a hundred dollars for the two um cases which isn't bad at all and it made for really cute favors and then I got this bundle of twine for probably a dollar at Hobby Lobby I know Walmart has it too or any type of craft store but having twine on hand is just really handy and then Doug's mom and cousin made the soaps and lotions for me I will definitely link their store in my description box and then I made the tags just on my computer with um, you know, I don't know Photoshop I can't think of the word um, yeah I used Photoshop just to make the prints and then I put cardstock into my printer changed the settings on my printer to print on cardstock and then went from there I ordered the oh boy stickers from some type of like sticker printing website I don't recommend it because I got the stickers originally for the invitations that I sent out in the beginning of July or I ordered them in the beginning of July and they took until like the second week of August to come in the mail which was ridiculous so I don't recommend that website but I made the stickers as well on that website and then I just used them for the favors and they looked really good so I'm happy that I got to actually use the stickers for something and that was the theme of my shower too like greenery with hints of gold and then instead of the theme being oh baby which I've seen a thousand and one times um I changed it to oh boy which I just thought was cuter because peanut is a boy good morning oh it's Friday it's 10 o'clock I just got Starbucks I don't know how I feel about the nitro lid um I think my store, the store is just like giving nitro lids because they don't have straws, which honestly, like I'm not mad about. I have my, I had my reusable straw in here. Oh no, I do. So I don't think it's going to fit with the nitro lid, which is fine. So yes, I'm in the car again. I just went to Hobby Lobby and then... Um, picked up Starbucks. I like don't have a tripod in here. I took Doug's car um, because I grabbed the wrong keys. So I just need to like put this down. Hello. That's not gonna work either. Maybe if I put you in here. No, and that's this is like in the way. Okay, I just have to hold my camera. All right. Um. I grabbed Doug's keys by mistake because like I have them hanging on the wall and I like went out to my car and my door wouldn't open and I like looked at the keys and I was like oh and I didn't feel like going back inside so I got a breakfast sandwich too from Starbucks because um peanut is super picky and I just don't like food I ate a smoothie before I left I just did strawberries bananas and greek yogurt even though i'm lactose intolerant so my stomach hurt this morning too and um yeah so now i got a sausage egg and cheddar english muffin biscuit thing and my go-to coffee order right here this is i don't know i'm holding it like this venti iced coffee with light cream no classic and no sweetener Duncan, I get a completely different order, but I was not near any Dunkins and Starbucks. It sounded nice because um, I don't like Dunkin's food. 
besides their hash browns, but they're very greasy and they make my stomach hurt. <sighs> like I said, I went to Hobby Lobby today for some last minute things that I should have got yesterday, but I just completely forgot about. So, um, I guess I will show you. I got um, just these cake stands for the party. I got two pink ones and then um, these two um, greenery ones. I have one of these at home already. And then I got just a plain, or it's like a, like a faux wooden cupcake stand that I already have one at home too, but I just wanna have enough for the desserts and I can put other desserts on them. Um, and they're nice to have for parties and stuff. So I don't have to use glass all the time. Um, and that's all I got from Hobby Lobby. So now I need to go get outdoor plants because I ordered some online and they are just not it. So I need to like get big outdoor plants in a Jetta. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I should've went in. I didn't even think about getting plants in here until right now. So I'm gonna eat my sandwich and then head to the plant store. Okay, I got my plants. Here we go. I had to like move the passenger seat all the way up and like put the plants on the floor and they're just like laying back. So um, that's nice. They were only $10 though and they're pretty big. And then I got this little plant for my mom because I, made her like this really pretty vase for Mother's Day two years ago and I made it for like her desk at work and she just keeps killing all of the plants that I give her. <laughs> so I got her a cactus last week, like a succulent and um, I don't know what this is. This is just like a tropical plant. I know nothing about these plants. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this plant is. Plants are not my thing. Gardening, I'm like a little decent at that, like vegetables, but that's it. Plants and like foliage, however you pronounce that, greenery is not my strong suit. So hopefully I can keep all of this alive. Okay, I got my plants. Here we go. I had to like move the passenger seat all the way up and like put the plants on the floor and they're just like laying back. So um, that's nice. They were only $10 though and they're pretty big. And then I got this little plant for my mom because I made her like this really pretty vase for Mother's Day two years ago and I made it for like her desk at work and she just keeps killing all of the plants that I give her. <laughs> so I got her a cactus last week, like a succulent. And um, I don't know what this is. This is just like a tropical plant. I know nothing about these plants. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this plant is. Plants are not my thing. Gardening, I'm like, a little decent at that like vegetables but that's it plants and like foliage however you pronounce that greenery is not my strong suit so hopefully i can keep all of this alive this is my first attempt at making a balloon arch and honestly it wasn't that bad and i figured i would walk you guys through how i did the balloon arch and it was actually like really easy it just sucked for my hands. I used an air compressor to blow up all the balloons. Actually, my dad used the air compressor and then I tied them all and tying them was the hardest part. I thought the tool that they provided in the kit was stupid and I didn't know how to work it. So I just tied them all by hand and I ended up with giant blisters all over my fingers so I'm not sure if there's like a glove or something that you can use to prevent that from happening, but we blew up about 300 balloons and it definitely took a toll on my fingers, but using an air compressor or a balloon um, pump, like an automatic one is definitely the move. Don't try to do this, you know, 
by hand, I guess. And then I ordered the balloon tape as well as a metal balloon arch kit that came with these rings that I'm using here. And the rings were so much easier than the tape. I never ended up using the tape. I think it was just a little tedious and the rings were super easy to use and then I threaded them through a string. I didn't use that metal thing that I have all the balloons on just because we didn't attach it to a table. I took a few pieces of long twine and put the rings with the balloons onto the twine and then attached the twine to um, our backdrop and that ended up working out perfectly but if you do use a table I would suggest using the metal arch kit and I love that the rings and the arch kit are reusable I'm not sure about the balloon tape being reusable or not I just found that the rings worked so much better then I moved on to making the charcuterie board I ended up using a cake board from Hobby Lobby this is a sheet cake one and this was just really easy to use and we just threw the board away after the party instead of having to wash like a cutting board. I decided to make my own charcuterie board just because I'm a little bit particular with my meats and cheeses and I don't know I actually really enjoy making them so this was fun for me. I got a few different meats. Um, I did turkey, ham, salami, and pepperoni. This was a good variety. I'm not too fancy, so I didn't really want to go like the cured meat route. I figured everybody likes turkey, ham, pepperoni. The salami wasn't a big hit, but I figured I did need something of the sorts on the board. On Thursday, I cut up all of the cheeses into different shapes. I did three different types of cheese. I did Colby Jack, mozzarella, and then regular sharp cheddar. And cutting them up the day before was a huge time saver. And cheese doesn't go bad um, if you open it and cut it up. So that was just one less thing I had to do on Friday. So I just put all of the cut cheese into containers and then placed it on the board wherever I wanted it to go. And I started the board with the turkey and I just took it out of the package, rolled up each piece and set it off into the corner and then added cheese and my first thing of This crackers. is probably the best part of the video. I hate pickles and olives so much, but they do belong on a charcuterie board and I just had to take one for the team. I was so freaked out by them and the smells. It was just not fun for me, but looking back, it's kind of funny. My facial expressions are just so dramatic and I hated touching them. I really hated every second of being near those olives and mini pickles. I'm not even going to try to pronounce them because I just, I don't know, I'm going to botch it. They start with a C if you just look up mini pickles or find them at your grocery store. I found them in like the travel cups, which was pretty convenient because I just used those cups that the pickles came in to serve them on the board. That way they could just be thrown away when the party was done. Then I just went in with my pepperoni and my cheddar. And as you can see, I kind of put stuff on the board where I want it. And then I move it around a few times, which that's kind of how I've always done a charcuterie board is I have an idea of what I want to do. I'll pull like a picture up from Pinterest and go off of that as a guide and then do my own thing and just kind of wherever everything works and yeah it's pretty easy it's kind of like stress relieving for me in a way I don't know if that's just me because I like to cook and all of that stuff and this is kind of like decorating in a sense it's art 
with food. So yeah, it was pretty fun to do this. I definitely recommend doing a charcuterie on your own. This way it's totally customizable to what you and your guests like. You can have, you know, whatever you want on there. And it's pretty inexpensive to make if you buy everything in bulk. And it went over really well. So I'm happy that I took the time to make it. This was probably the worst part of the entire party prep was hanging the balloon arch. I seriously just wanted to cry. I was so frustrated and irritated. And every time a balloon popped, it just added to my anger and everybody was laughing at me that I was getting so mad at balloons popping. But the issue I was having is that my shed is a rougher wood. It's not like a flat texture, if that makes sense. So the balloons in the wind were rubbing up against the textured shed and popping. So it was really frustrating. I had to get all the extra balloons that we blew up, which was fine because they were already done to kind of like fix the arch. But as you can see, we just pretty much tried everything to get this to work and it really wasn't. I did use the twine, like I said, which made sense in this situation. The original plan was to hang this sheet on one of the canopies that we had in the backyard, but then we figured that if we put the sheet on one of the canopies to take pictures against, because this was the backdrop, it would cut off the seating from the canopy. So we just decided to put it on the shed to kind of open up the space a little bit more just to give people more room to sit down and that way we could be socially distanced but by the end of the party there was like 12 balloons left on this arch of like 85 to 100 balloons and it was really disheartening so moral of this story i don't know how i feel about balloon arches outside especially on textured surfaces so we tried to do a thousand things with this balloon arch and make it work. And then I gave up, left my dad and Doug to finish it and make it work. And I went inside to finish decorating the desserts. I made about 55 or 60 cupcakes two or three days before the party and froze them. They stay really well in the freezer. And then I did the decorations the morning of in fondant just because fondant doesn't really stay in the freezer or the fridge from my experience. And it took me probably 30 minutes to do 60 or so decorations for both the cakes and the cupcakes. So I just dyed white fondant green and blue for these decorations. You can buy green and blue fondant, but I always have white just so, you know, I can have it on hand and make whatever I need to. I don't like having just a ton of stuff in my cabinets. So whatever, white's the easiest for me to have on hand. It's totally a tangent, but I like to use silicone fondant molds. I think that's kind of all they have. I'm not too sure. But here I am just making little baby feet and some leaves to match all of the decorations. Now I headed back outside and started on the rest of the decorations. And again, I did a ton of stuff on Thursday and Friday and then the week or so leading up to the party, which was... A godsend honestly I ordered these fake leaves off of Amazon for decorations to go in the balloon arch and on 
the tables, and then I used mason jars for all the silverware, straws, and the flowers, and that turned out really well. I know mason jars are a little bit like 2012, but it fit the theme really well, and I always have mason jars on hand, so that was a super inexpensive way to decorate, and it is convenient. I used plastic tablecloths from the dollar store on all the tables as well. This way they are disposable and you throw them away when you're done. It doesn't matter if they get ruined or ripped. And then I put a few extra balloon rings on some twine and hung them from the canopies just for some added decoration. And then here me, my dad and Doug are trying to figure out how to hang this strand of eucalyptus in a cute manner. We ended up figuring it out, but I don't know. All of our brains were fried by this point. It was like day three of everyone doing party stuff and we were all kind of over it. And yeah, I wanted to throw in the towel and cry by this point. And here is Doug supervising me decorating all of the tables. I feel like this is like a 20 minute clip of just Doug sitting there <laughs> staring into space telling me how to put things on a table. Um, definitely baby daddy of the year. He supports all of my crazy ideas and this weekend I pretty much told him to jump and he would just ask me how high he was so helpful and I know baby showers aren't a guy thing but he seriously helped me so much same thing with my mom and my dad this was totally a family effort and I'm just so happy that it's over but I'm also so happy that we got to kind of share this together as a family Overall, we had four canopies and then one table with an umbrella. And then we had two tables for the food. And it worked out pretty well for having 25 or 30 people, I forget the exact number, at the shower. And everyone was pretty socially distanced. Um, there were like four or five people to a table. And yeah, we hung up the Hello Baby in the back for the backdrop. And then I eventually added some of those fake leaves into the backdrop, which looked really cute. And then we just hung up more balloons on each of the tables. And here my dad is trying to put the balloons on the rings, which is kind of funny. And sorry, mom, if you're watching this. You're going to tell me that you look terrible and that we look like ragamuffins, which we do. Um, we both had spray tans, like at-home tans, and they had to dry. So we looked like 
a mess with our baggy, crappy clothes. But we had to be a little bit tanner. I didn't feel like being pale for my baby shower. So yeah, that is why me and my mom look like we just rolled out of bed. I promise we did not. I was up at like 5.30 this day just getting stuff done and I was kind of over it. I know the reason why we chose to say goodbye but I can help my feelings. Right now I can't deny you never left my mind and now my heart is bleeding. Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl living in a dream world. I thought that I'd be better off, but now I pay the price I do. I don't know how. your secrets I dream and fantasize that I come by your house telling you about my regrets why did I have to break it up cause I was way too shallow my mind was way too narrow I thought that I'd be better off but now I pay the price I do I don't know how Turn that by into hello. I know how to love you now. No matter what I do, I can't let go. I don't know how to forget you. I can't forget you. You're always on my mind. I do the things that I should do. So I can't forget, but you're always on my mind. Thought you'd be gone. So now on to Sunday. This was when we got everything from the shower home and Doug and I just decided to tackle, that was so odd, I don't know what that is, but we decided to tackle putting everything together and away at once just so this way it's done and over with and our house isn't crazy cluttered. We got a ton of stuff from the shower and we are just so thankful for our friends and our family that are supporting us and, you know, rooting for us and came to our baby shower and got things for our little baby. We are just so appreciative and so thankful. We got a stroller and car seat from my mom and my dad and, um, I know like Doug's mom got us the pack and play and it was honestly so much fun to put the stuff together and kind of like test things out. It made Peanut just seem that much more real and it kind of made us realize that he's coming a lot sooner than, you know, you think um, 
eight weeks sounds like a long time, but in the grand scheme of things, those eight weeks are going to go by so fast. So that is why we decided to put all the stuff together on Sunday after the shower and with Doug's unpredictable work schedule. It was easier just to do everything in one day. And this way it's done for when little man arrives. And it was fun that me and Doug got to spend this time together putting things together. So that's pretty much it for this video. I did include some photos from the shower um, to give you guys an idea of how the decor turned out. I didn't take any videos of the whole thing um, from a decoration standpoint, which I definitely wish I did that. I have to remember that for next time I do a party or something. But I hope the pictures give you guys a good idea of the look that I was going for. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you stayed till the end, you are a trooper. I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video and subscribe for more.